Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. This week, I'm going to be teaching you how to remove a background from a picture with a lot of hair. Let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. This week, I'm going to be teaching you how to remove a background within a picture that has quite a bit of hair. I've seen this around the internet, you know, just people making maybe some sort of funny Photoshop picture or maybe just an actual picture of like a sort of manipulation or like a professional design. Um, but I've seen the mistake where they just, when they're working around the hair, they just sort of, they just sort of miss everything and they just make it look very choppy and very, very just unrealistic. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, this is just a quick example like they just try to erase the background as much as they can and then it just looks very choppy like this right here They just doesn't look like the hair is actually there it just looks very choppy and everything and it just doesn't look right You know just Just everything doesn't look right now again on the way that I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the background while keeping the hair It didn't really work for this picture in particular mainly because it just the whiskers were just too they, they just took up too much of the area and you weren't the tool wasn't able to locate where the background actually was but um, that's why I found out a picture of an actual person with that we can actually work with with uh, how she has actual hair that we can um, that will most likely be people will be working with in everyday uh, projects so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go over to here and make sure that this tool is the quick selection tool and select that if it's the magic wand tool, just left click and hold and then just drag out and do the quick selection tool, okay? And then you just quickly just select as much of her as you can while still having her hair in the selection. And then once that is done, you can hold alt and get rid of this empty space that you don't need, like so. And then we can get rid of most of this space right here, okay? Still be careful, be be generous when you're giving space because you need to keep the hair. And then you can see her eyelash we need to keep. And then up here we need to keep. And then in here we can get get rid of. There we go. We still need to keep that hair. While still keeping most of the arm. Okay. Now that that's done, we can, oh, and there's still a little bit down here. And you have to be very, you have to always pay attention to detail, which is what makes, what makes anything that you make in Photoshop, like actually good. You have to pay attention to detail because no, people will notice that. Okay, so now once you have um, completely selected everything that you want, you just go to the refine edge up here and it should start to look like this. Now there's different views that you can choose from. It's just basically just up to you. It just helps you um, see where you want to get rid of, and then it just it's just it just helps you. It just depends on what what your preference is. But I'm gonna uh, personally use overlay, and then I'm gonna leave everything here the same. Okay. So then the size of my of my brush, I'm gonna turn it to about 30, like so, and then we're gonna start getting rid of all this excess gray right here. Okay. So we'll start from the bottom right here, where we see this gray right here. And all you have to do is just go around the edge right here and it'll just tell Photoshop to basically relook where this is and it'll just fix the background like so. And then it's just perfectly gone, okay? So that is it for that area. And then we're gonna go up to the top Here, and we're gonna get rid of all this gray make sure you get all of it and now if you see that the red has sort of come on to her you have to hold alt and then just bring that area back like so and then just try and get rid of it as much as you can if there is a tiny bit of red on it don't worry about it but um you have to make sure that you get most of it same with here, you have to make sure that you get most of it. And if there's little tiny areas like this, you have to bring it down to maybe like a five brush and then get in between where the black, or sorry, where the gray and the red is. So you have to do that to make sure that you're paying attention to detail. 
And then you can see that her arm is a little bit chopped up right here. So we can just bring it up to a, a bigger brush and then just go around the edge to make it better. And then if there's still a little bit of red, just hold Alt and get it back. And then right here, you're gonna want to do a tiny bit smaller brush and then just go around the area and it should take it all away. Okay, along with her hair. So, okay. And then you're gonna wanna do it in this area too. Now you can see that some of the red has gone onto her skin. So you'll just hold Alt and then just get rid of that red. Same here. And then get rid of all this gray. Make sure you get rid of all the red too. Okay. Now that area is done. And then here, you're gonna basically do the exact same thing. This is the part where everyone is probably wondering how to do. It's just very simple. You just have to, I would actually recommend a, t a bit of a bigger brush, maybe around 40, depends on how big your picture is. And then just go around the hair nice and smoothly. And then make sure you go in the hair too because sometimes her hair is very, you can see through her hair, so you need to make sure that you get most of that too, so otherwise it'll look unrealistic. And then again, right here as well. Okay, and then also up here, and then you can still see some gray right there, good. And then you can still see some gray right there. Okay, and then of course you can just go around the edges right here to, if her arm looks a little bit um, cut off or anything like that. Just go around the edges right there and make sure that it's good as new and make sure that everything looks fine. And then once you are completely done with the actual background, like deletion, all you have to do is just push OK. And then it will do this. And then you just can get rid of the background. Like that. Uh, so actually, I'll show you what I did there. So now that it has created the entire selection, all you have to do is just do Control C, New Layer, Control V, just delete the background, and then it's just good as new. Okay, guys. So I hope this did help quite a bit. Um, this should help you uh, just get rid of the background, get rid of all the uh, all the excess, um, you know, just background with when you're working around with hair and everything, and that should be just fine. Should be just good as new. You can even put a solid color in here just to see how it looks. So, and then you can see that you can, it just, it looks fine. You can put it into any background that you want and it'll look perfect. So I hope you did enjoy this guys. This was a bit of a longer tutorial, but it's something that is very common that I see that you need to make sure that you pay good attention to. Otherwise it's just not going to work out. So I did hope you enjoyed this. I did hope this helped in any way. So if you guys did like this, then please do leave a like. If you didn't like it, then don't leave a like, leave a dislike. Tell me why though. Leave it in a comment section below and I hope you guys enjoyed. And please do subscribe. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later.